Hi, this is Pastor Carl Miller, and thanks for joining me for another edition of From the Pastor's Pen. This edition is entitled, The Gift of Rest, Part 4. And our focus text today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 7 through 10, and there we read. Then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Well, amen. Praise God. Well, friends, as we've been considering the multifaceted divine gift of rest that Christ gives his people, we've been refreshed in finding rest in his provision of safety from predators and from predatory fears. We found rest as we walk in love and humility and are at peace and in unity with one another. And finding rest in Christ's provision of peace and tranquility within. A fourth and final condition we will consider in this series is the rest that Christ gives us in being fully satisfied. As the Good Shepherd says in verse 9 of our focus text, He is the door, the only door through which we enter into salvation and then go out and find the pasture of abundant life. Jesus is the pasture of his people as he is the living word of God. Christ fills us as his hungry sheep to the full with the spiritual sufficiency of his own fullness and that of his word. He is our eternal satisfaction. He and he alone feeds and fully nourishes our hungry and thirsty souls Praise the Lord. Jesus is the bread of life, as he has marvelously proclaimed himself to be in John 6, verse 35. We read there, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Again, praise him for that glorious truth about himself, beloved. Come to him in true faith, and be truly satisfied. As Christ gives us himself as the living word, he also gives us his written word as green pasture for us as well. We are to feed upon the scriptures. There is a glorious inseparable connection between Christ and his word as he is the message of it. And how do we know this to be true? Well, the Bible reveals Christ to be the righteousness of sinners and the Savior of all who call upon his name. The Apostle Paul teaches us this as he wrote to the saints in Rome in Romans chapter 1, verses 16 and 17, when he said, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek for in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Well, my friends, having been redeemed by Christ, we no longer hate the living word, but we love him and we long for him. We are no longer repulsed and in blind rejection or in anger about the truth in his word, but we love it and we delight in his law and his precepts and his commands and we have eyes to see his word as it truly is as the very word of the living god it is our spiritual food and our pasture consider these wonders about the word it is the bread that satisfies our hunger in abundance we learn this in isaiah 55 verses 1 through 3 we know its awesome work in the hearts of men and women by the Spirit. Psalm 19, verses nine, uh, 7 through 9. 
we know its value is far more than fine gold and its sweetness far sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. We see this in Psalm 119 verse 103 and Psalm 19 verse 10. It is milk for spiritual babes and strong meat for the mature. 1 Corinthians 3 2 teaches us this as well as Hebrews 5 12 through 14. The Holy Spirit graciously works in our hearts to do what? To receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. James teaches us this marvelously in James 1 verse 21. The Spirit also then works in us to keep his word, John 17 6, as well as to continue in his word, John 8 31. Well, beloved, be refreshed and be encouraged in the complete satisfaction that Christ and his word is to you and to your family, as well as corporately to our entire body, to the entire church. May these truths help move you to have a more faithful diet, a more consistent feeding, a more prayerful study as his disciples. It's a great blessing to find rest for our souls in Jesus as we are well fed by him. And further, it pleases our God to put special honor on the preaching of the word, the preaching of Christ crucified and the whole counsel of God to us. It's therefore a great blessing to find rest for your souls as you sit under the ministry of the preached word, as well as receive his nourishment in the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. May this final word from the word give you peace and joy, and that being found from Psalm 132, verses 13 through 16. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling place. This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. Well, amen and amen. Praise God for Christ. Praise God for his word. I hope that you're blessed by this edition, and I hope that you'll join me next time for another From the Pastor's Pen. God bless you, and I'll see you then.